speech is over human trafficking. <coughs> According to the Department of Justice, every two minutes a child is trafficked for the purpose of sexual exploitation in the United States. In June 2010, a man in East Tennessee was busted because he had been trafficking over 400 women. Many, many people think that human trafficking is a huge problem in other countries, but they are blind when it comes to realizing that it's happening in our own backyard. Human trafficking, also known as sex trafficking, is an illegal trade of human beings for means of sexual abuse and forced labor for usually drugs or money. Three factors for growth of sex trafficking in the United States would be ignorance and unawareness, bad home lives, and because it's difficult to detect. Many people do not realize how big of an issue sex trafficking is because they are ignorant or unaware when it comes to knowing about this problem. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation states that the crime is one of secrecy and typically hidden from the public view, which contributes to why people are unaware of human trafficking. The fact that girls as young as five and six are being forced to do sexual acts so that their pimp can gain money is not something everyone wants to speak about. Girls are not the only victims of sex trafficking. Boys are also victims, and sometimes they are trafficked even at a younger age than girls. This horrible act has grown in the United States due to unawareness and lack of education. The majority of the victims affected have been linked back to unstable home lives, either without a father figure or one of the parents has substance abuse problems. The predators attack people who are vulnerable, and according to Amanda Rodriguez, the predators, the predators will claim that they love and they need their victim. Since many of the victims have had unstable home lives, the predators take advantage of that and manipulate them with their attention. They will convince their victims that they love them and sometimes will even bribe them with marriage. Once they have gained their victims' trust, that is when the gruesome cycle begins. The predators will get their victims hooked on drugs and strip them of their rights since they are economically dependent on their predators. Once the victims are hooked on drugs, it is hard for them to escape and they would have no means of finding other jobs. Since many people are not aware and do not speak about sex trafficking, it makes it harder to detect. Steve Cacheo states that frightened trafficking victims don't self-identify themselves. When the victims are too scared to speak out against their predators, it, may, it makes locating the criminals a lot harder. It has been found out that even some police officers have been involved in these sex scandals, which make the victims even scared to seek help from the people who are supposed to be protecting them. The police officers will make these women perform sexual acts in return so that they will not return them, turn them in as prostitutes. These predators go to many lengths to not be caught and many of the predators are gang affiliated. Many of the gangs have tremendous power and are hard to be taken down, which makes them harder to identify since no one wants to stand up against them. The gangs will sell their victims to other predators, which cause the victims to be relocating often. With the victims always being sold, it makes harder to detect the location of the victims. In conclusion, with all this being said, the three factors for growth of sex trafficking in the United States would be ignorance and unawareness, bad home lives, and because it's difficult to connect, to detect. If a child is being trafficked every two minutes in the United States, more attention needs to be, aware, I mean, needs to be brought to this matter. These victims are humans too that have been placed in unfortunate circumstances, leaving them more vulnerable to sex trafficking. Many people will continue to ignore this problem that is slowly becoming an ep epidemic, but if you have more information on how you can help stop human trafficking, visit www.stophumantraffic.com.